lawn mowers, lawn mowers everywhere. And we're selling them as well. This is another one Gary's working on. He's just sold one, it's bank holiday Monday. Let's see what he's doing with this one. Well, you probably see that it looks a bit tidier up here at the moment. We've had a bit of a clear out, got rid of all the old decks and rusted decks and stuff like that. These are all okay, they're, they're all ready to work on, apart from those we got in the poly tunnel as well. So Gary's got this uh, mount field that he's working on at the moment. He just sold one of these, exactly the same ones, the, the black mount fields with the red boxes on. So he's now got this other one which he's sold as well. So although it's Bank Holiday Monday, it's just tinkering about out here in the sun, that's all it is. So let's have a look what he's doing. So what was the matter with this, actually, you've got this engine out. This ain't the original engine that come out of this one though, is no, it? that's the original over there. Right, over here he's got the original, just sitting over there, but I think this one had a bent crank, didn't it, Gary? Yeah, it's doing a lot of vibrating, that one, when it's running. Right, well, there is a special tool you can buy to straighten cranks. We haven't done that, and there's some very dodgy videos on YouTube of people hitting the crank with a big hammer. I wouldn't advise you to go and do that at all. So, um, in the event of a bent crank, just get rid of it, take all the parts off it, and then use them parts in your storage for your lawnmowers, for future lawnmowers, and find an engine which hasn't got a bent crank. So this is what he's going to be fitting now. It's exactly the same engine, the 35 Classic, as we tell you to keep on repairing. And what else you got to do to this now? Just literally service it and build it back up. Right, so he's going to put fresh oil in it. He's going to obviously uh, put the all the old springs. Let's show you. As you can see, this is the old engine here, and all the springs are still on it, and also the exhaust and various stuff and the actual cover and all that. This engine, when we stripped it down, as you can see, it was just a bare engine. There's virtually everything's been taken off it. The carb's been taken off it. All the springs were taken off it. The outer cover as well, and also the mechanism for your brake and all that was all taken off. So that's just something else to be aware of. And one thing I've just noticed there, which I can't see, is the cable, the electric cable coming off of your coil, which goes around to your brake. That was obviously removed as well, so you're gonna have to put that on as well. Very important to put that on, because if you haven't got that on, you won't be able to stop your lawnmower because this thing automatically generates electricity, as you know, once you uh, start spinning it. And you need that cable coming off to that switch, which when you lift your handle up, that brings a set of contacts in together and shorts that cable out to the earth or the chassis, and that then cuts out the uh, coil. So he's gonna need to put that cable on as well. But that's the engine going on, and that's the beauty of these lawnmowers. You'll find these Briggs & Stratton classic engines. That's not the uh, other one quantum engines the quantum engines have got a different carburetor layout you want the ones as i've said to you before with the uh with this fuel tank set up on the side because they're the easiest to repair and the easiest to stock parts and 90 percent of the problem as we said in previous videos is to do with this exhaust and gasket uh, the diaphragm and gasket that lives in between the carburetor and the fuel tank so those are the ones you really want to be stocking and also they fit on many many different decks this is a mount field petrol mower they fit on champions, they fit on sovereigns, they fit on other uh, lawnmowers too. I can't think of the names of them for the life of me at the moment. But uh, it's the same three hole system where you've got the same three holes in all these decks. I've just found that you ain't got that wire on there. You put that wire on there for the... Yeah, and the brake. And the brake, yeah. You have to take the coil out and re the coil for that anyway. And let's go have a look at this little one that he sold as well. Exactly the same as this, but it's now been sold. How long was it on Facebook for? You put it on Facebook, didn't you? Yeah, it's been on a couple of days, that one, on Facebook Marketplace. And you reckon that you've had non-stop blinking phone calls on it, haven't you? Since last night, I could have sold it six times. Because all these messages come through his phone, so uh, every time he gets a little bleep, he's got a message from someone, and he could have sold it six times over. How about that? Lucky enough, we got a few of them, but as I say, yesterday, we just had a nice leisurely day. We had a barbecue. We had a big bouncy castle outside for the kids, so we, we weren't really bothered. But it's bank holiday today. We're going out down, down the beach again tomorrow, so why not tinker out here in the sun? That's what it's all about. Let's go and have a look at this other one he's just sold. Waiting for the bloke to pick it up now. So this one, all ready to go. Waiting at the back door to go out. So this is, uh, what did you have to do to this one? You had to change quite a few bits about it. Lucky enough, we keep the spares, as I've said to you before, and you changed quite a few things on this one, didn't you? This was one with that smashed boss in it and the piston. Oh, that's right, yeah, we took this one off, and I wish I would have shown you that, because it, it just shows you when they hit something. Sometimes they don't do any damage. Sometimes they bend the uh, blade up. Sometimes they break the uh, key in, in the flywheel. And sometimes they literally disintegrate everything. This one had a broken boss on it, didn't it, you said? I think I've still got the boss on the table. And it actually shattered the um, case as well, didn't it, or something? Yeah, the case had a crack in it and uh, set the comrade. 
Oh yeah, actually broke the com rod as well, so the piston weren't going up and down. So lucky enough, we had the spare engine. Ain't cost us anything because it's something we picked up probably a long time ago for maybe ten pounds or something, or even given to us. I don't know. So that's the beauty of stocking the spares. They only the lawnmower that you repair. So there we go. That one's ready to go. And before we go any further, I think I might have to have a little shout out for people. I had someone contact me and they said that his mother watches the video. He said she's over 60. I shouldn't be telling the young lady's age, should I? And uh, he said she drives a Vauxhall. Ink, ink, I can't remember what it was now, but it's a Vauxhall anyway. And her name is Diane. So Diane, your little boy told me to give you a shout out. So here we go. I know you watch the videos. So I hope you enjoy them anyway. But I hope you have a nice bank holiday as well. Same as what we're doing here. So this is for Diane, little shout out. So anyway, let's go back and have a look and see what Gary's up to. Oh, what you got here? That's that boss off that lawnmower. Oh, here we go, look. This is the one off that black, black, black mount field and that totally smashed it, as you can see. That was only part, because it actually done the crank in as well. The crank was snapped in half as well, so. Although it didn't break these little pins, look, they're supposed to break first of all, before any other damage. And also the crank, the cam, the uh, flywheel, is all supposed, supposed to uh, break the little aluminium woodruff key that sits in there as well but as i say to do this it really must have hit something hard and after that people lose faith in it and they probably say oh that's it get rid of it let's get a new one but we've restored it and it's back and it's sold again now not with these on obviously someone said to me the other day what are you doing with your pond is it a pond because that used to be a pond over there and also we've got loads of work that needs to be done behind the pond here let's show you and all this lot i'm forever trying to cut the weeds back but uh <laughs> As you can see, I've let them grow up at the moment because it actually looks quite tidy when the weeds have grown up. So provided we keep the grass cut, I'm just going to, rather than cut this and try and do something with it, until I, it needs a JCB in here, a little, little mini digger in it to come along and actually flatten all that off. Because my, my plan is to turf all that and continue the green garden along there sort of thing. Fill the pond in and patio the rest of where the pond was basically. But I mean, that's going to have to come later. We're too busy enjoying ourselves and having family life as well, so look at him working over there, look. The thing is, he's using all my tools. I know, unbelievable. Let's go and see what he's up to. So yeah, while we was out here having the barbecue yesterday and the kids were on the bouncy castle, what a lovely day it was. He was just fixing lawnmowers up there, just playing about fixing lawnmowers. Didn't take him long, all he'd done was change the engine over. And that's the great thing about what we said the other day about having the right sort of tools and the, the air gun or the compressor the uh, windy gun you call it the impact driver gun whatever you want to call it fantastic tools for zipping off like rusted bolts and stuff like that and also i think he had some um, bolts on there that underneath to, to, to fix the engine to the deck they was rusted just grind them off don't mess about trying to undo them and bruising your knuckles and all that so that's what happened there now it don't look like he has come in so Look at these dogs, look, they love, they love the wild garden, look. Where's it? Go on, fetch it. Baby's just turned up, look. Come over here, baby, look. It's like a visiting day at the pr prison, isn't it? Look. Hello, baby. Hello. I can't, I'll be out soon, baby. What have you been put in for? Hold on, or is it you that's in prison? No. Say hello to Diane. Diane is uh, one of our subscribers' mum. Oh, Diane, mom. she drives a blue Voxel. Brilliant Was, it a, was it a blue one? I it was remember. a blue Voxel, because yeah. I went, so do I. I did say hello earlier on, hello, Diane, Diane, but Sharon would like to say hello as well. And, uh, hello, I, blue Voxel I did, I've done the wrong thing, Sharon. I mentioned her age. She was over a certain age. I shouldn't have done that, should I? That's rude. I didn't mean to, Sharon. It has to be hit. I could cut it out, but... Oh, yeah, there's another visitor for you. Who's that? Oh, hello, look, he's in now, look. He's hanging about, look, because there's a transaction going on. I think you two crooks should be in blink behind bars, not me. I haven't seen it. Here, we've got to go down and get the meat and we for the barbecue tomorrow. Again. What do you mean we? I've got loads of ironing to do. You said we was going to go and do that today, to the beach. Oh, I one of the children Not to the beach, it. to the, the, the shop. No, we... we do we're... you think I'm going... Have you seen all the cars going to Horncast on the Horncast Shall we go the back way? You know that. There's a little side road we take. We went yesterday. I know exactly. Sharon, what? we'll go later in a minute or soon on. Okay. So just give me her money. They do barbecue packs where we went yesterday. The individual items were so expensive, Sharon. 
Well, they're not expensive. Are no, they? the individual ones was. The bike's more expensive. It was a burger. It was eighty pence each. Was, is that not? Is that right price or what? Yeah, that's about right, isn't it? For but one anyway, cut a long story you short. Four burgers in the co-op. About two pounds, like two ninety. Yeah, but that's three pound twenty for four burgers. That's there. Yeah. But if you buy the whole pack, which you get loads and loads of stuff. He wants to lift home, doesn't he? You get um. 29 pounds you get masses of stuff and that's what we're going to do we all chipped in a tenner each and that's what we do tracy's coming with us tomorrow as well and the our kids and gary and his kids and me and sharon <laughs> hey what come on baby what are you looking at me like come out of prison baby come on you ain't got long you've only got a few months left baby I'll switch you off hey mute button someone else said mute that on button. paul's video paul stamps video yeah, someone I'm left a bleating comment on. i think it was a rod, rod rustic wooden rustic productions or something like rob Rob, I don't go on. He said, <laughs> I'm listening to this, he said, on Paul's channel. He said, you wonder whose channel it is. He says, because Marty's doing all the talking. No, you do. I don't do a lot of talking, shall You ain't shut up since I've got here. Oh, so say another word then, baby. Baby. Do you know what I like to do <laughs> now? Did last Come here, come here, come here. Come here, look, look come here. Don't hurt me. I'm not going to, I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to do that. Now, you, now you're bugger, aren't you? Not yeah? really, because I've got another pair in Now, here. don't you know that she's a bleating bugger in prison? I don't like her style, eh? Come on. Let's go do some work. Let's get on my nerves now, Sharon. Get out of prison. Come on. I ain't got long left. In prison. This was a good job, baby, wasn't it? You're happy with this? You know what someone said to me on the comment section? They said, oh, don't rub your hand on that. You'll put all scratches in the car. I'm 54 years old. I've rubbed down and cleaned and dealt with so many cars. I've rubbed my hand. They think I've got grit on my hand or something. Some people's comments are so, so silly, baby. Well, they're looking after me cars, so... Yeah, yeah, but they come up with it. I had one bloke... It's, Oh my, uh, oh, what was Stop his name? Stop moaning about people. I'm not moaning, baby. Positive. There's certain people, come here, look, what's that? There's certain people out there who like little ramp videos. I don't. My, my, he's here, Gary, you'll, 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 you'll uh, verify this. That my shed videos, someone left a comment, like something like, uh, tut, 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 no overhang on the roof, Joyce, m equals leaking shed. Yeah, no, I no, 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 slap in my wrist. Oh, I can't stop it leaking now. <laughs> that thing has never leaked whatsoever, has it? Not yet. Hey, and that's nearly four, four, 2014? Four, over four years, isn't it? Nearly five years that's been up that shed. And you get comments like, it's like they're telling you what to do. In an ideal world, yeah, have you ever taken a chance at certain, any of you trolls out there, have you ever taken a chance in life? I took a chance to marry you. If you don't take chances in life, you've got nothing to look back on and have hey. a laugh at, so, eh? Hey? I took a chance to marry you. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on now, come on. I'll be with you. What? Let me do this, look. No, don't! <laughs> hey, what? Unbelievable. Hey? Okay. Eh? I know they come up so quick, these trees, don't they? They seed so quick, wild trees. Well, I'm, I'm, I like the old meadow look, you see. I don't like uh, proper borders and all that. I like, I like it growing wild oh, and all that. Eh? Hey? Yeah, hey? Eh? Go on, Shia. Look at, look at her pops. No, look. what are these? Them? I ain't got a clue. That's like, uh, I don't know, what is it? It's a pretty little thing, isn't it? It's probably a, a weed of some sort. There's going to be a tree here soon. We'll cut that out, don't worry about that. Yeah. What are you looking at, baby? A road. Quiet, isn't it? Actually, it's what? busy. There's two people walking up here. Yeah. He's on his way up? I think so. He just said, what number were you? Oh, yeah. There comes a the car down here. Here comes the car. Four. Right, we're going to have to stay. We're going to have to stay incognito on this one. So we'll come over here, shall we? Come over here, baby. Hey? Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, I'll cut it all back, shall we? In, in time, baby, in time. What? It wasn't that car. Oh, it's a car coming up now, look. Oh, he's running it up, look. I can hear it. I can hear it. He's having one free test. Hey? Yeah, it sounds all right, Gary. Okay. Is he coming, Sharon? In. In. Is he coming? Yeah. Baby. 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 Look. He do? He's doing the deal. Look. And he's come to get the money. He's, he's, he's come. No, he's come out. Is he coming out? Is he? He's come to make sure he pays. Of course he has. Bison. Sit down. Um, over near Columbus. Sit down. Oh, yeah. Sit down. Oh, yeah. Sit down. Still, he's in there barking away. Of course he is. Come on, Bison. He's a good boy, isn't he? Perfect. He's a good boy, baby, isn't he? You're a lot of guy standing there, aren't you? Hey? Hey, yeah, you're a lot of guy dogs, shall we? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
<laughs> Got my two best hounds on the dip, on the case, look. <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> so funny, isn't you? <laughs> right, I've come over here. Sharon's watching it, yeah? I've seen the lawnmower go in the back of the car, but I've seen no money change hands yet. They're chatting at the moment. Look, Bison, look, he's up for it, look. Bye. Hold on, let's see, let's see how it went. Come on, Gal. Gal. Gary. Come here, quick. Sharon. Come on, you was the guard. You was the guard, dog. Well, how'd that go, that deal? I know him anyway. Yeah? What happened? Well, well, did, 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 did that come across? Oh, I think so. I think so. All there, that. Well, you checked it. Don't Unbelievable. Hey? You, I don't need to. You might need to. No one rips me off. Hey? No one rips you off. He always him. count it, right? always count your money. This is a little tip for you. When you do the exchange or the cash, <laughs> and you might be a bit embarrassed because you don't want to count it in front of them, but say to them, I'm going to count it because you might have given me too much. So that's a little way out of it, yeah? Yeah, well, I normally count it, but I just know him, so. All right. Anyway. I know anyway. where he lives. I know where he lives. Send the rut wire around, look. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's go. See you in a minute. So I've done a few t-shirts again today. This is what I've done. Hold it up, Shall I show, show what I've done. These are a few t-shirts I've done for a few subscribe, a few people with YouTube channels. People like to give them away, you see. That's the reason why it's a good idea to have your own blinking branded t-shirt. Because this this person, for example, gives them away in competitions. And it's another way of uh, increasing your, probably your subscriber base if you've got a YouTube channel by having your own channel wear, so to speak. Don't job the camera, Bison. You leave him alone. That was Barney, sorry, not Bison. That's even worse. Definitely leave him alone. We do all sizes, we've got all the sizes. Right, so Gary's gonna finish that lawnmower. We might as well just end this one here. It's a little vlog today. We've got loads of family stuff to do today, so uh yeah, just to show you what we're up to on the bank holiday Monday, 2018. Where are we going tomorrow? End of May. I said we're going to the beach. <laughs> Alright, shout, let's end the video now, baby. So if you want a shout out, don't forget, just leave us a message in the comment oh, section. Hey? Okay. <laughs> eh? You say let us end the video, you're the one who's all <laughs> No, I'm, I'm doing my end of video speech, what I normally do. Like oh, what? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, please, people. And check out our other videos. Which is on our Retro Retro Restore, Retro Hacks. So I don't know. Yeah, Retro Hacks channel, Sharon. That's what I normally do. And there's normally a link on the page at the end here. So that's what they're going to be looking for, hopefully. And maybe sharing our videos. Or maybe if, you, if you're a youngster... Apparently we're getting a lot of older people start to watch our channel now on the big TV, like what Paul Stamp says, Moa Man, last week in my last video. A lot of people are watching YouTube now on big screen and they're so fed up with the trash TV that's on at the moment, they're actually uh, you, watching YouTube, and I didn't realise this, is that you can talk on these new smart TVs now. You can press a button and say YouTube, and then YouTube will come up and then you can start watching YouTube on your big smart TV now. And a lot of... I say middle age, our generation, Sharon. Young people, eh? Well, young people, yeah. Are starting to watch our channel. Our channel is sort of a variety sort of channel. Hence, it's not just restoring and retro stuff. We do the cooking channel, as you know, as well. And we've also got some uh, other stuff, like today, for example. It's a bit of everything. We like to throw in a little bit of a uh, light-hearted banter as well, Sharon, don't we? I like people to see my babies, my doggies. We we are, baby. We're middle... My attic eat presses are still up. Like... We are middle-aged now, baby. But we've got young people who watch our channel, and we've also got the other end of the spectrum, uh, more mature people who watch our channel as well. Mm. Apart from the trolls, we don't let them, we, we block them straight away, because you don't shout, you might shout at the telly, Sharon, but you don't insult the telly, do you, when you, well, I do sometimes, don't I? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, does I do, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. So, I don't actually even talk to the telly like I it. do, yeah, well, it's all wrong, you know isn't it? it's not going to answer you. It's, no, it's not the matter of that, Sharon. Well, you don't know smart TV, Sharon. It could answer uh, you. It's probably listening to you as well. Oh, yeah. What do you reckon? Mm. Should we go and get some uh, stuff for the barbecue? No, I'm about, how many times, how many times have you heard me say, I'm going to do my ironing? Hey, <laughs> that's not me panting, that's the dog, Sharon. <laughs> Well, All right, come on, let's go. You're, you're getting on my nerves now. I'll see you later, baby. All the best. Shake hands, come out fine. Do you remember the handshake? One, two, three, four. Boof, boof, boof. Slice. See you later. Bye for now. <laughs>